All right, you know it's serious now. We're talking about EA. We're talking about EA's attitude about Nintendo Switch because they had their recent quarterly uh, financial briefing and did an earnings call for it and did a Q&A during that earnings call. And uh, thanks to a place called SeekingAlpha.com, we have a translation of that earnings call. However, they also link the full audio in there, which I did listen to, to confirm the translation, or really transcribing, I should say. Uh, but before I get to that, I want to talk about why we're talking about this, because EA has not been a very ardent supporter of Nintendo for many years. Uh, they did do some efforts on Wii. I got to give them some credit for that. Uh, they had tried making these arcade editions of uh, things like Madden and stuff like that. And they really, none of them really ever sold that well, uh, and it never really piqued people's interest. They were just wondering, why couldn't we just get normal Madden, just not in HD? Uh, why do we need all these arcade style games that just aren't very good? I mean, we'd rather have NFL Blitz, if I'm being honest, the old school NFL Blitz. Uh, and then, yes, they did efforts on DS and, and 3DS, but they've been basically targeting Nintendo platforms less and less and less over the years. This is not the heyday of the NES N64 SNES uh, Game Boy where we were getting pretty much everything from EA. Uh, those days are long gone. Uh, EA has stopped treating Nintendo as an equal platform basically around the time Wii came out and it's never turned back. Uh, Wii U, they supported early in its life. Uh, we got a, a, a port of Madden. Uh, however, it was basically a legacy edition of Madden that they didn't say was a legacy edition of Madden at the time. Uh, and that was the year they introduced the physics engine into the game, which is one of the biggest changes ever done to Madden in the history of Madden. And uh, this game didn't have it, despite being basically the same power as the other platforms that had that. So it really didn't make any sense that uh, we were getting some older version of This isn't like the Switch compared to PlayStation 4 or something. This was literally a platform that was more powerful than some of its contemporaries at that time. Uh, and we got a really crappy thing of that. We got Mass Effect. The Mass Effect trilogy was ported. Um, for the most part, it was a decent port. Uh, the best port from EA was a Need for Speed game that came out uh, many, many months. You know, almost, a, I think it was close to a year into the life of Wii U. Uh, and that was a very well done port. Uh, the online was paired back from eight racers to six, but that was just because of the CPU. Uh, otherwise, it was pretty much the exact same experience. And it was actually a lot of fun. And uh, that was probably the last great effort we saw out of EA. There's been other games, of course, that have come along the way. Switch, as an example, we've been getting FIFA every single year. Uh, this year, they're finally calling it a Legacy Edition. Newsflash, it's been a Legacy Edition the entire time. What a Legacy Edition basically means is it's an older version of Madden with updated rosters. That's what it's been this whole time, despite them denying and saying they're making a completely unique experience for Switch. That was never the case. Uh, people figured it out a long time ago. It was just like Madden from PlayStation 3 or Madden FIFA from PlayStation 3 ported over. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Uh, there's a lot of fe missing features. They won't use any of the new engine from Frostbite, all that stuff. Uh, the best game we've gotten from uh, from EA has basically been Fae or Fee. Uh, however you want to pronounce it, uh, an indie title. Uh, obviously runs fantastic. I think we're getting Unravel 2 as well, uh, and that's a very, very good game as well. But again, those are indie games, and obviously they're going to be a fit on a Nintendo platform uh, because Switch has become the indie go-to. But EA does not support Nintendo platforms at all. Uh, there's no... not. I mean, while we get Legacy Editions of FIFA, we don't even get a Legacy Edition of Madden. Uh, this is assuming that we even should be getting Legacy Editions and not newer versions in the first place. Uh, I don't like that. We're seeing other companies out there with games much bigger than these uh, able to do wonderful things. Hellblade sending with sacrifice. Uh, the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is coming. Uh, we, you know, we got games like Mortal Kombat 11, uh, Diablo 3. The list is kind of going on and on. Nintendo's starting to build up a nice little library for itself of uh, games from third parties. But EA's name is basically not on that list beyond FIFA. Well, I have said uh, back in June. Uh, after experiencing EA Play and seeing zero Switches at the EA Play event for FIFA, unlike the prior two years when they did have Switches, uh, that I felt that EA had basically given up on Switch, although it, they never really gave Switch a chance. Uh, and EA should just admit then that they just don't like the platform, they hate the platform, whatever. Uh, I'm here today to tell you that EA, it's time to just openly admit that you just don't like Nintendo. Because the statement that came out of Andrew Wilson's mouth does not <laughs> does not make a lot of sense. Uh, so let's get to the earnings call and see exactly what was said. So as you see here, 
Uh, the operator says your next question comes from the line of Jeff Cohen from Steven because this the, this was an earnings call, so they, you know there was a basically an operator uh, you know connecting people. Jeffrey Cohen says thanks for the incremental color of The Sims. It feels like the franchise would be one that would do really well on the Nintendo Switch. I mean, I think that's a pretty good take right there. Um, the Sims has traditionally done well on Nintendo platforms in the past, including a Wii and DS and 3- 3DS. So I don't, I don't know why. It's literally always been a good fit. It's the kind of game that Nintendo fans would eat up. Hello, Animal Crossing. Anyways, so I'm curious. How do you guys determine which platforms you'd bring the game to or games to? And is there any reason why you wouldn't want to bring that one on there? So he's asking, is there any reason that The Sims is not being considered for Switch and in particular any other games uh, being considered from EA as well? He's basically asking EA, why aren't you bringing games to Switch? Uh, what are your thought process? Andrew Wilson. The CEO, the head honcho, the man who runs all of Electronic Arts chimes in with a very lengthy response here. So let's let's just read the entire response and then I I will I will react. Um, anytime we're evaluating platform conversations, we are really looking at a couple of things. One, does the game really fit the profile of that platform in terms of the control or community ecosystem? Two, do we think the community playing on that platform would appreciate the game to go there or would they prefer to play it somewhere else we have a lot of data that would suggest a great many switch owners also own a playstation 4 or an xbox one or a pc and very often choose to play the games that we make on those platforms even though they have a switch and they enjoy a lot of great content on the switch and so there's always an evaluation process that goes on a case-by-case basis and i wouldn't say that the sims would never go to switch but i think we're doing really really well attracting sims players as we said we did the promotion in the last couple of months and brought in 7 million new Sims players uh, that we expect will engage in the community on a platform that is really tailored to user-generated content, creativity, and customization. It's all bullshit. Um, think about some of the things he's saying here. You know, we have a lot of data that would suggest that a great many Switch owners also own a PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or a PC, and that is very true. Uh, I have a gaming PC, did have an Xbox One before, Uh, PlayStation 4, a lot of people own Switch, also own PlayStation 4. That that data point is fine. That is actually true. That's been published and and thrown around on the internet for a long time. Yes, a lot of people that own Switch also own other platforms to game on. All right. That point isn't what bothers me. It's what follows after that. They choose to play the games that we make on those platforms even though they have a Switch. There is no choice, EA. EA, you can't talk about how people that own a Switch and own a PC, gaming PC like I do. I'll just use me as an example. I own a gaming PC. I also own a Nintendo Switch. You know why I'm playing Madden on my PC? Because it's not on Switch. There isn't a choice. You cannot talk about how people are choosing to play your games on other platforms in st- despite the fact that they own a Switch when your games aren't on Switch. What what are you talking, Andrew Wilson? You're talking into one ear and it's just flying out the other. You're so full of bullshit. That's what this is. It is a bullshit statement. All you have to say, and people already know this. All you have to say, Andrew Wilson, is we don't view Switch as a viable platform for our games. And leave it at that. You don't need to get into specific reasons. But the reasons given, they can't even be proven true. Think about it. What did he say? Let's look at this one more time. Let me show you guys. Many Switch owners also own a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One or a PC and very often choose to play the games that we make on those platforms even though they have a Switch. There is no choice. The only game you've given a choice on is FIFA. And you know what's funny about FIFA? You are still bringing it to Switch every single year. So the sales data on it must be pretty decent since you're bringing it to Switch every single year. If it wasn't selling well enough, we know you would stop doing it. You stopped it on Wii U. You gave Wii U one FIFA and that was it. Switch, it's obviously selling well enough to keep making it and keep releasing it. So, the logic's not adding up here then, is it? The one game you brought over that is on other platforms sold well enough to keep it coming. So again... They chose to play on other platforms instead of Switch. Then you get to the next part. 
they enjoy a lot of great content on Switch. Sure, that's, that's them trying to be complimentary. So they're telling you people are choosing to play on other platforms, uh, even though they don't have a choice because there is no game on Switch. Uh, and then they're saying, oh, but Switch does have a lot of great content. There's always an evaluation process. Let me see. He's not going to rule out the Sims ever going to Switch because they never do that. You know, they they don't want to close doors entirely, slam it in people's faces. They pretty this statement pretty much does that, but uh, EA can walk it back because Nintendo is not going to you know tell EA not to bring games over. Uh, so he talks about how well Sims is doing. That really is unrelated to the question, by the way. The question has nothing to do with how healthy Sims is. The question is why isn't it on Switch? <sighs> So he goes into this long winded explanation about how well it is, how well Sims is doing. And then he talks about this. They will engage the community on a platform. See, the fact this is brought up is a suggestion that Switch is not such a platform. On a platform that is really tailored to user generated content. Oh, you mean like Minecraft? How about Super Mario Maker 2? What about Dragon Quest Builders 2? Oh, wait, all three of those games are doing record numbers on Switch? I, what? So user generated content is not something that works on Switch, right? It's best on other systems creativity again that goes into user generated content customization again microtransactions and dlc to tell me that doesn't exist on games on switch of course it does it's bullshit the 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 entire explanation is bullshit i am tired of hearing the excuses from ea they finally Someone in an investor's call just directly asked. Thank you, Jeffrey Cohen, who directly asked the CEO of EA, why the hell aren't these games on Switch? He couldn't just say because they don't want to put them on Switch. They don't feel the platform's a good fit. No. They had to go into deep, deep explanations about how, well, I mean, they have other platforms, so they just choose to play. There's no choice. My heart rate's just right now I'm, I'm so angry because here's the thing a lot of you are going to say good riddance we don't need ea we don't need their games but here's the thing i really enjoy some of the ea's games i kind of want to play the next dragon age on switch and you're like oh it's not possible shut up the witcher 3 is on switch it's possible it's just they don't want to do it okay frostbite runs on phones they could make it run on switch if they wanted to they just don't want to do it i am tired of excuses from one of the major massive Triple A. I mean, they're basically the only ones that aren't playing along. I mean, even at least Ubisoft, right? Who, you know, isn't exactly bringing all of their big games over. At least they're porting some older stuff, right? Like, we got Assassin's Creed 3 this year. Yeah, it's not great. It would have been nice to get, you know, Odyssey or something else, which they do have streaming on Switch, at least in Japan. Uh, so at least they're doing that. But we get nothing from EA, but. A legacy version of FIFA. That's it every year. Just a legacy. And it must, and again, it must be selling well enough. The only game you have on the platform that you can compare to other systems is obviously selling well enough to keep making it. So by that logic, doing the same for, like if you did a legacy Madden, it would probably sell well enough to keep making it. And the thing is, I don't really want these legacy editions anyways. You know, the, the, the we were able to get Mass Effect Trilogy on freaking Wii U. We can't get that on Switch. Andromeda bombed and everywhere else. Maybe it'll do well on Switch. And this is in wake of the fact that Switch is getting more and more third parties. So I think what's happening is this investor, Jeffrey Cohen, looked at the landscape of games and realized, well, there's one platform EA is not taking advantage of. Like, how come Bethesda is bringing Doom Eternal to Switch and Wolfenstein Youngblood and we're not bringing anything but FIFA? Why? That seems like a lost opportunity. These other companies, Square Enix, Octopath Traveler, they see the sales data. They see the 1.5, 2.5 million in sales on that game. Well, and they're wondering, why isn't EA getting their slice of the pie on an install base that's only 37 million strong? Why are they not getting a slice of that pie? Why, why is EA just disinterested? The Sims, a game that perfectly fits on a Nintendo platform. Perfectly. There's nothing happening in The Sims that is not doable on Switch. Nope. Can't have it. Not doing it. Not the right audience. We target platforms that have the best audience for um, user-created content. <laughs> Again, Mario Maker 2 is one of the biggest games on Switch right now, and it's completely user-generated content. <laughs> Minecraft has been huge on Switch every single month. Dragon Quest Builders 2, Dragon Quest Builders itself, the original, all, both were huge on Switch. Third-party games. <laughs> Animal Crossing is about to come out next year. It's a pretty, a pretty good comparison to something like Sims. That's going to be one of the biggest sellers on Switch. I, 
EA, just just admit it. Andrew Wilson, I am pleading with you. Just admit that you guys just don't like Nintendo. Okay? It's pretty simple. You don't like Nintendo. You don't want to put your games on Nintendo. You don't want to put the effort into them, even though other studios are proving that it's worth putting effort into and that the games sell. We don't care. And that's what's so frustrating in having this conversation and trying to make sense out of what EA is saying and the logic with it. The logic can only exist if you put in the effort and have the actual data to prove it. There is no logical conclusion that if people had an option to buy a game on PlayStation 4 or buy it on Switch, that they would just buy it on PlayStation 4. There is not a logical conclusion for EA games to prove that. And if you want to say, well, look at the third-party games. Yeah, look at them. Okay, we're getting Doom and we're getting Wolfenstein Youngblood. We already got that. We got Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. Obviously, those games sold well enough to get the next ones. I mean, yeah, you shouldn't be looking at Switch and expecting PlayStation 4 sales. But, I mean, half of those sales? I think that's a relatively safe bet if you actually put in a good effort on the platform. The Witcher 3, don't be shocked if The Witcher 3 moves a couple million on Switch. A late port to Switch. Because you know what's funny about owning all those other platforms? If people own a PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and a gaming PC... But they also own a Switch. What does that tell you, EA? What's the other data point you're ignoring? It tells you that PlayStation 4, PC, and Xbox are not fully satisfying their gaming needs, that they felt like they needed to buy a Switch so they could play games on the go, which means if you offered your games to those exact same consumers that the only thing those other platforms are missing for them is the ability to game on the go, they might double dip. They might triple dip and get the game and take it on the go. So, EA, you're full of shit. And I'm so tired of your nonchalant BS excuses for not supporting Nintendo platforms. Just, I, I'm, I, I have defended you a little bit in the past, EA. I think I'm done. I'm, there's no defense anymore. Yes, I'm still playing Madden on my, on my PC because I had a free month of Origin Premiere. But I highly doubt I'm re-upping after that because I kind of don't want to support your company with my money anymore. I know some of you guys are already at that point with EA. I still have games of yours I'm looking forward to, EA, but how can you openly sit there and just lie out of both sides of your mouth about Switch when you don't have the data to prove the points you're stating? And the companies that are bringing games to Switch keep bringing more games to Switch, basically disproving the entire point you're making. Heck, your own game, FIFA 18, 19, and 20, all on Switch. Clearly, people are buying your game, too. So, I'm done. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe for more content, share it around. I'm sure some of you guys already knew a bunch of this news, but I had to get this rant out of the way. It, it, it's been bugging me. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm done, EA. Just done. See you guys in the next video.